basically Gary Ann started with a, uh, a trailer called the Phenomena, which was a mobile museum of the weird and strange. And we took a bowler trailer. We, you know, exhibited that or Gary Ann exhibited that for the first year. And then we got involved with this art car community and built an art car and then got invited, or we actually we got invited to Houston, saw this huge parade they have down there with art cars and thought, okay, let's do that in, in Regina. So I built an art car and we met some people and and threw out invitations and we had for three years I guess we had we had artists come out from uh, Vancouver like three artists from Vancouver uh, Seattle Nevada and all these people show up with, with with art cars that you know some people built them for the show for the art car parade and for the show others they had them already before they even knew what they had and then all of a sudden we start seeing you know we've seen for the art car show but then because we're driving one now we're looking all right and like i drove one as a daily driver and then so i'm kind of all like you look weird when you're driving these things so you're looking for somebody that looks just as weird as you do but we start meeting all these people and and that's a community in itself and we had that kind of thing going on here during during the arts festival we had art cars parked out front my car the chevelle from hell which was a, a 74 chevelle uh, that I bought for 200 bucks and I can only buy it if we can make it uglier than what it looked like. In other words, I wasn't able, allowed to restore it. I had to do something the other way with it. So we, we did a trim clad paint flame job on it and I stuck a whole bunch of exhaust headers all over the body of it so as like, you know, flames coming out of the car and put a really loud exhaust on it and honked around town and the thing. and did burnouts and, and just kind of made a nuisance. That's the car that I drove for six months. Dave Pro had a, a um, it's called the Stiletto, which was a, uh, a three-wheeled car in the shape of a stiletto shoe, a red stiletto shoe, and it was perfectly shaped. And it had a Honda motorcycle engine on it and an old Ford straight axle, steer, steer axle on it. And um, it was just like an amazing car and the thing went, like it was fast and you could do like 70, 80 mile an hour on the highway with the thing. So essentially if I could buy a car for under 200 bucks, I bought it and I turned it into an art car one way or another. A friend of mine was trying to get rid of a car and, and it was an Alberta car and I didn't want a safety and all that. And he says, well, you know, I bought him a Danish and a coffee and he gave me the keys. And we donated that to street culture kids and we, they did an art car on site and the Holy Rosary parking lot. We had all the cars parked around there and, and street culture kids came in and did that. But it was that was a fun one to do because that you got community 